this week or an extremely special episode of Days of Our Alcoholics. The narrator has finally decided he would like to eat dinner. Unfortunately, the narrator had to deal with some issues with his credit card because it turns out that spending a lot of money on a laptop is going to cause your credit to max out without the narrator actually realizing it. Oh my god, we're being invaded by a beanie. Dear god, we're gonna die. Anyway, the poor narrator has now had to deal with the credit card company to try to convince them that he can, in fact, actually pay off his credit card. So please let him actually use it, because he kind of need it for groceries. So, yeah, there's that issue. Also, the grocery showed up on multiple charges on his credit card, so he would like them removed. Needless to say, it has been a very long evening. Needless to say, I think someone is having car issues. Needless to say, this lighting is completely and utterly terrible. But that is not a worrying issue. The beanie is a terrible issue. Hello! Oh my god. Ow! Your nails are very naily. Tonight we are going to do a well-hung red tryst wine vineyard thing that, believe it or not, is actually a restaurant. Don't ask me why a restaurant is also a vineyard. I don't get it either. Their wines apparently stand up to any occasion, even though I am the only person who actually likes some of the wines here at this particular vineyard, which is actually a restaurant, which is very strange and very weird. Also, there is a town called Leon. It is in Virginia. I don't know why I decided to point that out, but I did. Anyway, and then moving on in all of our insanity, we are going to have ourselves, hopefully, a good wine, because it has been an extremely long day, and the narrator needs to actually have a good day. No, the narrator has not heard from the Joshi after his Tampa expedition and causing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win the Super Bowl. We are pretty sure he also fixed the Super Bowl. Because he is an absolute asshole. Also, I'm pretty sure that this rim and core are extremely dark purple. Although I can't tell you for sure. Yeah, it looks pretty dark purple, that's for sure. Good grief. Man, maybe a little better light up. Here we go. Sorry, the narrator needed some better lighting. It looks like a dark purple core with a red rim. The narrator smells black pepper. The narrator also... Hold on. No, there's just dark fruity... thing. Maybe there's something else in here. I would ask the bean to smell it for me, but that is an absolutely terrible idea, so we're not going to do it. Also, I have a mountain of laundry that needs to get washed. Yes, it is terrible. <sighs> the narrator cannot tell behind all of the black pepper and the dark fruits what this other mysterious item is. So he is going to taste the wine. Ooh. The narrator detects medium, intense, dark berry fruit characteristics on the palate. He has also noticed that there is a vanilla aftertaste with the wine after this. It is a medium tan and medium acidity wine. There is not a lot of pepper on the palate, it is just on the nose. It is very strange and very interesting. A very fascinating <coughs> <coughs> wine indeed. Also, the narrator is probably dying, either from asphyxiation or the fact that he has the dreaded disease of doom, which doesn't make sense because he had his first dose. Actually, I'm getting my second dose tomorrow. Hmm. The narrator is probably an extremely doomed. The bean can only watch in extreme and utter horror as the narrator is dying and... <coughs> Oh my goodness, the narrator is having extreme amounts of issues talking and should probably end this video. Oh, my goodness, the narrator probably also needs a glass of water. But at any rate, guys, thank you so much for watching. 
If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe. It is a well-hung red tryst. It's very good. I can't think of anything else to say. Bean Dip, do you have anything to say to the crowd at this time? No, ignore the crowd. Is there a Chunky out there? There is no Chunky out there. Okay, I guess we'll have to leave him out in the dust to dry. Good night, everybody.